What's up? It's Christian from Vision 6D. We are going to look how the task paths is going to help us in complex projects to follow the links between tasks, their predecessors and successors, and the critical paths. So let's go. Behind me is a software development project. It's simply the template of software development that you can also load directly from MS Project. And I went down to the design and development part with the testing part. And we can see that we are here, for example, during the unit testing of this project, and it's not really easy to see all the predecessors. So we are going to use what is called the predecessor pass. So if you are into task, you select the task that you want and you go to format. And what it will do is that it will change the color of the bars in the GAN chart that we can identify in an easy way which are the predecessors. And you see here that I can highlight the predecessors. So it's what I'm going to do and we'll look what is going to happen now on the diagram. We see here that here in yellow have come all the predecessors of the task which is number 37 here and if I go up here, you will see that all the predecessors are highlighted. To remove the highlighting, we go back to the task pass and we remove highlighting. I will go here a bit down, but I can see the followers, the following tasks. And I will come back again to the task here and I will have a look at the successors. Yes, like that we, we see all the successors of the test task. So once again, if you want to remove this, you can come up and remove the highlight. You can at the same time now also highlight the predecessors as well as the successors. Like that, you see the, the impact of a sequence of tasks, for example. A task can have a long chain of predecessors. But which one are really directly impacting the schedule of this task? It's for this reason that we can here highlight the driving predecessors. And you see that we have predecessors that are in clear yellow here, but we have other ones that were marked as orange. Those are the driving ones, which means the schedule of the task depends on those orange tasks, which are the driving tasks. The tasks that aren't on the driving path, like the one here, it's because they have some margin or some slack. If we want now to know uh, which tasks are driven by our review of modular code task, uh, we'll go into the task pass and we select the successors. So now we have all the successors here and now you see that the last option here is the driven successors and we see that a lot of tasks here are depending on the task we are looking at. What happens now if you want to look at the critical pass? So into format here you select the critical pass checkbox and you see now that all the tasks on the critical pass have changed color so it's preceding on the task. Uh, what I want to say that critical past showing up has priority on any other task link or task pass. This was it about the, the task pass. You have any question, don't hesitate. You liked it, you can sum up, you can subscribe to the channel, share with your friend. And for me, it's a pleasure to meet you again in another video. See you. Bye-bye.